I just want to pull your skin open and crawl inside of you. Bitch. You think this game scared me? Aw, oh, you don't even know me. This game does not scare me at all. Last episode, I might have had a few chills. But so the fuck what? We're going into the next episode of Doki Doki. I'm not scared. Are you scared? Let's go. Okay, so we're making a poem. Okay. Uh, I've seen where the... When you press certain letters on the poem, it really it goes to one of the two characters. They'll jump if they like it, so... Skipping. Okay, so, so Natsuki likes it. So let's choose something fucked up like tragedy. She likes it. So she's the cynical dark one. She's the happy-go-lucky one. So sweet. Alright. Um, fuck me. I don't know. Okay, I guess it's her. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this and I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Okay, so here we go. Again, Doki Doki. I'm not gonna get scared. This game doesn't scare me. It's not scary. Okay, I'm the best horror player there ever was. Let's go. Another day passes and it's time for the club meeting already. I've given a little bit, I've gotten a little bit more comfortable here over the past few couple days, like last time. Entering the club room, the usual scene greets me. Welcome back, Liz. Hi, Yare. Ah, uh, hi, Yare. <laughs> yeah. I'm not sure if it's me or if it's Yuri's expression, but the weight of sh the weight of yesterday's quarrel still hangs in the air a little bit. Um, Yuri glances over her shoulder, looking around the room. Natsuki is reading the manga at the desk. It's surprisingly, Mon Mon Monica. I, I don't know why I've been calling her Mon Monica, but it's Monica. Monica isn't here. Suddenly, Yuri takes my arm and pulls me to the corner of the room. Oh my goodness, don't do this. About yesterday, I, I really need to apologize. Nothing like that has ever happened before. And something just came over me, I guess. It was, I wasn't acting mentally sound. Please don't think we're usually like this. Not just me, but Natsuki as well. Yuri, I'm happy that you're considering and apologize. You don't, gotta, you don't have to worry too much. Even though I've only been here a couple days, I could tell something was obvious today. Of course, of course. Maybe it's a little sensitive because of our first time sharing poems. But whatever it was, it didn't me make me think any less of you. I already had decided that there's no way you can be a bad person. And now that you, now that you're apologizing, I told I, I know you really didn't mean, ugh, really didn't mean. It. I cannot talk. I'm sorry. Excuse me. Ah, uh, glazed. Don't say those kinds of things so frankly. They make me a little too happy. I'm really glad you're such an understanding person. I'm really glad that you joined this club. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're all glad. Everything is a little <laughs> bit brighter that you're out, and uh. Sorry, that was I saying right now. I just... Hey, have you guys seen Monica? Ah! Uh, no, I haven't. Oh, it's me. No, I haven't. Uh, I was also kind of wondering where she was. Man, Yuri, I'm guessing you haven't heard either. Ugh, Yuri, clear your thing about, about calling out Suki's addressing her. No, I haven't. Jeez, this isn't like her at all. I know it's stupid, but I can't help but worry a little bit. What? Why are you guys looking at me like that? Um, Natsuki about yesterday. I just wanted to apologize. I promise that I didn't mean anything by the things I said, and I'll do my best to stay under control from now on. So, Yuri, what the heck are you talking about? Oh yeah, because I forgot Monica said she's going to make sure she said she probably won't remember any of it. So Monica probably raised her mind. Okay. Did you do something yesterday? Eh? Jeez. Oh, whatever's on your mind, I'm sure it was nothing! <laughs> uh, I don't even remember anything bad happening! You're the kind of person who worries too much about the little things, aren't you? <laughs> but... Oh, God! <laughs> what the fuck's that real f that real mouth? Oh, my Christ. <laughs> Midless, but what? Bullsight, lifeline, anon, what? Okay, girl, whatever. <laughs> I accept your apology anyway, if it helps you feel any better about it. Besides, it's kind of nice to hear you here, since I was always afraid that you secretly hated me or something. <laughs> oh! No, not at all. I don't hate you. Ahaha, uh, well, you're kind of weird, but I don't hate you either. <laughs> Not sicky turns to me. You're still on trial, though. Hey, fuck you, okay? Fuck you. You can't scare me. That that right there, little thing you did, it didn't scare me. Even the hyper-realistic mouth, it didn't scare me. So nice try. Try again, bitch. Okay, I told you. New me. I'm not scared of this game. It just caught me off guard last time, okay? I know what to expect. Suddenly, the door swings open. Monica! Oh, my God. Sorry, I'm super sorry. Oh, there you are. I didn't mean to be late. I hope you guys weren't worried or anything. Nah. Oh, not sick he was. I was not! Ha <laughs> ha What took you so long anyway? Uh, well, my last period today was to have study hall. To be honest, I kind of lost track of time. Ha <laughs> ha That makes no sense, though. You would have to hear the bell ring at least. Yeah, no shit. I must not have heard it since I have pra I was practicing piano. Oh, you play piano. Wow, what a shocker. You're so talented, girl. I wasn't where you played music as well, Monica. 
Ah, uh, don't give me more credit than I deserve. I guess I've been practicing it for a while, but I'm still not really good yet. Um, since your compliments put me in a good mood, I was wondering if you could take, would like to spend time together today. Ah, uh, well, sure, why the fuck not? You're obviously not going to last long. Okay, may I have the water pitcher? Thanks, I'll be right back. Uh, might as well walk with you. That's okay. You stay here. It won't take that long. Pitcher in hand, Yuri's, Yuri hurries out, Yuri hurries. Yuri hurries out the classroom. Ugh. Did Yuri leave again? No, it's not like that this time. She's just filling up the water pitcher to make some tea. Oh, okay. Sorry for misunderstanding. Yeah. Ten minutes pass. Yuri said it wouldn't take long. Something holding her up? I'm bored just waiting here, so I decided to look for her. Now we're looking for Yuri. And... Oh, I like how the, how the music's drowned out from when you're walking out of the classroom. That's funny. Let's see. The most logical place for you would be the nearest water fountain. I stand. I start heading down the hallway. Ha ha! What the fuck is that? Ha ha! <laughs> what was that? What's that noise? It's coming from the corner. It sounds like breathing. Kish! <laughs> a sharp inhale, like someone sucking air through their teeth. Are they in pain? I reach the corner and peer around it. Yuri. Oh! 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 Yuri. <laughs> Wow! <laughs> oh, oh my god, wow. All that... I mean... <laughs> wow! <laughs> okay, it did give me a little bit there, like, inside. I was like, oh! And then it just like, okay. <laughs> All the motors going so fast, it's fucking crazy. I'm back! I'm big! <laughs> There's a voice I should give her. Thanks for patiently waiting! Okay, no more. No music. Okay, there's no music. Shit's about to go down. Glazed? Oh, my heart. My heart won't stop pounding, Glazed. I can't calm down. I can't focus on anything anymore. Can you feel it, Glazed? Yuri suddenly pressed my hand against her chest. Why has this happened to me? Oh, Yuri, what are you freaking out for? I can feel like I'm losing my mind. I can't make it stop. I must make everything raid. Just want uh, to look at you. Oh, Jesus, the hyper realist guys. Hello, girl. Damn, they're nice eyes. Ha. <sighs> <laughs> Damn, nice eyes, girl. Uh, can we stop? <laughs> uh, okay, girl, we need to stop. You're freaking me out. The eyes are not... You have pretty eyes. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, the eyes. Creepy as shit. Okay. <laughs> oh, Monica, thank you. For once. Um, It's time to share poems. <laughs> yeah, no shit. Oh, who should I share my poem to first? Um, Natsuki. Why not? I think we've been through this. Yeah, the spider poem. Yeah. This is the same thing, I think. Yep, that's the same thing we've already had. So now Suki really hasn't changed. Let's see how fucked up it is. Wheel. And there's no music. This is a long poem. And I'm not going to read it. <laughs> oh my god. And the music's still gone. Doesn't matter what it's about. Mine has been a typical hyperactive lately, so take it on your pen. Uh, that's a pen fell out of your backpack, so I took it home for safekeeping. And I, um... I just really like it, the way it, that it writes. So I wrote this poem with it. Now you're touching it. <laughs> I'm okay. What did I just... Can we pretend this conversation never happened? You can keep the poem, though. Okay. Okay, Monica. Hey, Monica. You, you're evil, but here. Yeah, yeah, I wasn't supposed to say, yeah, it was Yuri. <laughs> no, but I don't think I have a choice. I'm getting kind of dangerous for you to spend much time with Yuri. I don't know why, but she seems pretty easily excitable when she's around you. Which I sh which shouldn't be a problem in itself, but when Yuri gets too excited, she finds a place to hide and starts cutting herself with a pocket knife. Wow. <laughs> okay. Isn't that kind of messed up? <laughs> yeah, 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 it's pretty messed up. She even brings a different one to school each day, like she has a collection or something. Oh, wow. <laughs> I mean, it's definitely not because she's depressed or anything like that. I think she just gets some kind of high from it. Yeah, okay, yeah. It might even be like a sexual thing. Oh, oh, okay, let's not go into that then. But the point is, you've kind of been enabling her. <laughs> hey, I don't enable that. I'm not saying it's your fault though, but I guess that's why I had to explain it all to you. So I think you should keep your distance. That would probably be the best for her. While you're at it, don't be shy to spend a little more time with me, of course. Let's put it lightly, at least... I have it together in the head. I don't know how to treat my club members. Yeah, uh, I, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, you want to read my poem now? I like the way, I like this way, ugh, I like the way this one turned out. I hope you do too. Save me. The colors, they won't, they won't. Bright, 
B A T U -A what? Flashing, expanding, piercing. Okay, so it's missing letters. Red, green, blue, and endless. Cacophony of meaningless noise. The noise won't stop. Violent. Something, something. Oh my god. <laughs> sign, cosine, tangent. Yeah, math. Okay. <laughs> like playing chalkboard on a turntable. Like playing a knife on a breathing rib cage. Ooh. Huh. I don't. So th I don't. I don't know. Endless poem of meaningless. I don't. Delete her. Delete who? What? Oh. <laughs> Okay, nice glitch. Sorry, that's kind of abstract. I'm just trying to, um... Well, never mind. There's no point in explaining. Anyway, here's M M Monica's writing tip of the day. Don't find yourself facing a difficult decision. When that happens, don't forget to save your game. <laughs> you never know when, um... Who am I talking to? Can you hear me? Tell me you can hear me. Wow, that's fourth wall breaking. Anything. Please help me. Okay. What? Thanks. That's my advice for today. Thanks for listening. <laughs> Fourth wall breaking. Would you you've unlocked a special poem? Would you like to read it? Sure. Why not? Oh, great poem. It's fantastic. V very nice. Why is it red? Do I have like contacts in? Okay, everyone. You're all done reading chess poems, right? We have some special delivery today. Yeah. Uh... Is this about the festival? Oh, sort of. Uh, do we have to do something for the festival? It's not like we can put together anything good. Why is it red? What the fuck happened? Okay. Glaze, why did you even join this club? To get pussy. What did you... <laughs> what were you hoping to get out of it? Well, it's not really something I can be honest with, is it? <laughs> In fact, if I remember, you weren't even given a choice to join. Exactly. Monica sits down and stares at her desk. What's the point of all this anyway? What if I started the club as a mistake? Now you've done it, Natsuki. What, me? I just spoke my mind. A, is it a crime to be honest? No, you're right. It's not a, It's not about being honest. It's about word choice. Oh, shut up. Besides, you have no right to speak for everyone else in the club like that. You don't understand at all. I just I just want a place that feels nice to hang out with a few friends. Is there a problem with the club being that for me? There aren't There aren't any, many other places like that for me. And now Monica wants to take it away from me? She's not taking anything away. No, Glazed. It's not the same. It won't be the same with the direction she wants to take it. If I wanted that, then I could have joined any other stupid club. But this one, I mean, at least a little bit of time. Things were nice. Natsuki packs up her things. Oh, she's leaving. I'm going home. I feel like I don't belong here anymore right now. Hey, Natsuki. Natsuki ignores Yuri and walks out the classroom. Oh, man. That's shitty. That is shitty. Um, this is bad. I don't know what to do. Well... Do you have an op opinion on the festival? I don't know. I'm kind of indifferent, I guess. Oh, who cares about that obnoxious brat? Okay. <laughs> That's mean. I mean, I like how nice and quiet things are right now. And I'm just happy with you here. But still, I'm the vice president. It's not right for me to ignore my responsibilities like that. Nobody would cry if she killed herself. This music's funny. <laughs> oh, blood. <laughs> I should do my best to consider everyone's perspective and make the decision that's right for the club. Alright. But what about you, Glazed? What do you want to get out of this club? Pussy. You repeat the same question as Monica. I decide on giving an answer better is better than nothing. I think the most important thing is for everyone to get along. And for the club to provide something that you can't get anywhere else. I don't think it's about how many members, but rather the quality of each member. That will end up making the Ledger Club a special place. I see. I really agree with you. Each member... Oh, she's bleeding from her eye. <laughs> Girl, you need to fix that. Get a band-aid or something or a patch. I'll chat with a little bit of the glaze before we leave. Oh, that's lovely. That's not going to turn wrong. I just want to see what he thinks of the time here. Of his time here and all that. It's important to me as president. Gary looks a little troubled, but she doesn't protest. Okay. I trust your judgment, Monica. In that case, I'll see the two of you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Monica waves as Yuri exits the classroom. Phew. Things have been a bit hectic lately, haven't they? Glaze, I just wanted to make sure you're enjoying the time at this club. <laughs> I don't think I'm enjoying it, but you know. I really hate to see you unhappy. Well, yeah, uh-huh. It's getting fuzzy. Why is it getting fuzzy? I feel kind of like I'm responsible for that as president. Yeah, and you're getting in the background fuzzy. And I really do care about you, you know. I don't like seeing the other girls give you a hard time. 
with how I mean with how me and Natsuki is and everything. And you're already being a little, a little bit, you know. <laughs> Sometimes it feels like you and I are the only real people here. Yeah, you know what I mean? But it's weird because in all the time you've been here, we've probably gotten to spend time together. Yeah, there's a reason for that. <laughs> I mean, I guess it's technically the only been a couple of days. Sorry, I didn't mean to say anything weird. There's just some things I've been hoping to talk about with you. Yeah, things I know you could only you could understand. So that's why. Wait, not yet. No. <laughs> what? Will you black out or something? Okay, another poem. All right, see then. All right, so we're back. Okay, again. Hi, Glazed. Hey, girl. I've been waiting for you. Are you ready to continue reading? I brought the, my best tea today. Monica! I told you not to. Ugh. Is she really late again? And consider as usual, Natsuki. Excuse me? You must always interrupt my conversations with your incessant yelling. What are you talking about? You say this like I do on a regular basis or something. I just wasn't paying attention, okay? I'm sorry. Seriously, what's gotten into you lately? Look, I did some thinking about yesterday. I was a little hostile in, than I might have meant to be. I guess I really felt threatened or something. But I know this is something we're doing together. Another new member wouldn't hurt as long as they're cool. And I guess another girl would be nice this time. So, Natsuki. Nobody cares. <laughs> oh, why don't you go look for some coins under the vending machine or something? <laughs> Wow. Uh, 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 wow. Wow. She made her cry. Holy shit, man. Yuri's evil. Fuck this bitch. Oh, man. I'm the last one here again. Are you practicing piano again? Yeah. Uh, you must have a lot of determination starting this club and trying to make time for piano. Well, maybe not determination, but I guess passion. It motivates me to work hard for the festival, too. Anyway, Glazed, what do you want to do today? I was thinking we could. We already have plans today. Hey, bit bitch! Uh, is that so, Yuri? That's correct. Glaze is already engaged in a novel we're reading together. She has become very stern. Aren't you glad you've gotten him into literature, Monica? I've gotten him into liter literature. I, I suppose. I was just... Actually, it doesn't matter. It really doesn't. You guys can do whatever you want. Yes! <laughs> that fucking face. <laughs> Dude, this is the same shit. Like, for real. It's literally the same shit. Dude, this is the exact same shit. Like, really? This is it? We're going through this again? Is my game broke? What? Wow. Um. We just do the same thing again. Oh! Hey, girl! <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> oh, I didn't expect that. Well, wow. wait, how did I? Sorry, I just had a really weird deja vu. That really hasn't before happened, I think, right? Yeah, sure. Wow. <laughs> hey, everything I'm weird after we just start spending time together. Yeah, I mean, everyone has a few usual, unusual things about them. But expressing those things soon after meeting someone is usually inappropriate or unlikable. At least that's what I've discovered. When I was a bit younger, I think I would have come strongly and get a little intense. It made people not want to be around me. So I started hitting those things about myself. My obsession with certain hobbies. Certain hobbies. <laughs> and the way I can't control myself when I get excited about something. So, I eventually stopped talk trying to talk to people. If nobody cared like me for the things that mattered the most to me, then it's just easier to close myself off. But recently, something's been wrong. I don't know what is. But every time we come to the club, my heart starts to go crazy. Like it's starting to rip out of my chest. It overwhelms me and my energy and emotions that I can't let out. It's making me do weird things. I don't know why it's happening. Glazed. Is it just me or has Monica been acting a little off lately? She's always been a sweetheart ever since I joined the club. But recently, I've been feeling something sharp whenever she's around. Yeah, no shit. I'm not crazy. Please tell me I'm not. Oh, God, the face. <laughs> I couldn't say anything before because she's always listening. But finally, we're alone. Can we just stay here for a while? <laughs> yeah. Oh, God damn it. <laughs> Yuri. I just wanted to stay here. The, just the two of us. We can stay here until the club ends. The hyper-realistic guys are fucking crazy. <laughs> uh, nobody wants to interfere with our, nobody to interfere with our reading time. Nobody to make me feel like stabbing myself in the throat. <laughs> Jesus Christ. What the fuck's in her face? Oh, it's, it's Monica. <laughs> that was a joke. That was a joke. 
I know you like knives, though. It sounds strange, but I really want to understand. Okay. Monica's right, right behind her. I have an idea. Why don't you come to my house sometime? I can show you my collection. No, I'm good. <laughs> I've gotten them from various artisans. I bet I give them all their fair share of you. I bet you do. I don't get them lonely or anything. Nobody deserves to be lonely. Nobody. And that's why I'm so happy you joined the literature club. Look at Monica just coming in. We don't need to be lonely anymore. Because we have each other. Every day. That's all we need. You know what? Let's quit, let's quit the literature club. There's no need for us to be around Mon Monica's slime, slimy tongue anymore. It's not to mention the other pathetic child. We can walk home together every day after school. And read together. Eat together. Sleep together. <laughs> Doesn't that sound perfect? It's everything we could ever want. Isn't that why you won't join the club in the first place? It's almost like it was fate. Fate that we can meet each other. Mon Monica, just help me. <laughs> oh my god, I can't read anymore, so fuck it. Oh god, there's the, there's the fucked up shit. Yep. Okay, here we go. <laughs> I'm guessing Monica saved us. I don't fucking know. Let's go to Natsuki. Okay, here's her poem. Oh, what's this? Oh, this is, this is really long. I don't know how else to bring this up, but there's been something I've been worried about. Yuri has been acting kind of strange lately. You've only been here a few days, so you might not know what I mean, but she's not normally like this. She's always been quiet and polite and attentive. Things like that. Okay, this is really embarrassing, but I'm forcing myself to suck it up. The truth is, I'm really worried about her. But if I try talking to her, she'll just get mad at me again. I don't know what to do. I think you're the only person that, that she'll listen to. I don't know why, but please try to do something. Maybe you can convince her to talk to a therapist. I've always wanted to try being better friends with Yuri, and it really hurts me to see this happening. I know I'm going to hate myself for admitting that, but right now I don't care. I just feel so helpless, so please see if you can do something to help, and I don't want anything bad to happen to her. I'll make you cupcakes if I have to, just please try to do something. As for Monica, I don't know why, but she's been really dismissive about this. It's like she just wants us to ignore it. So I'm mad at her right now, and that's why I'm coming to you about this. Don't let her know I wrote this. Just pretend I gave, it, gave you a really good poem, okay? I'm counting on you. Thanks for reading. Alright. I have the glitch. Are you, are you done glitching? Oh, the face. I changed my mind! Ignore everything you just read! There's no point in trying to do anything! That's your own fault that she's un so unlikable. Can you hear me, Glazed? If you would just spend more time with Monica, all these problems would go away. You're not already messed up for someone as for, too messed up for someone as wonderful as you. Just think of Monica from now on. Just yes, Monica. Just yes, Monica. Just yes, Monica. Just yes, Monica. <laughs> okay. <laughs> oh wow. <laughs> Back to the beginning. Just yes, Monica. <laughs> what? Okay. Okay, Yuri. Hope that it makes you feel good when you think about me having it. I'll take good care of it. I'll even touch myself while reading it over and over. <laughs> I'll give it myself paper cuts so your skin oil enters my bloodstream. Wow. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, wow. <laughs> you can have my poem too. <laughs> it's just so just nonchalant. Besides, after you read it, I know you really want to keep it. Here, take it. I can't wait any longer. Hurry, read it. Oh, girl. This don't even say nothing. It just has blood on it. Is that piss? That's awful. You should be ashamed. Oh, hey. How you doing? Do you like it? I wrote it for you. In case you can not tell the poem is about... More importantly, I've endowed it with my scent. You mean you're pissed, right? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. I I think I'm going to go... going to vomit. <laughs> Monica. Hey. Didn't, don't say I didn't warn you, Glazed. What? Yes. Start the red dot to a real special message. Okay. Is it a jump scare? I love you. Oh, thanks. Love you too. We can just... Now, Suki, shut your fucking mouth and let him decide for himself. You shut your mouth! Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is never going to end. Just make the choice, okay? As my... What? What? My voice! <laughs> my fucking... It just... It won't even choose. Oh! No, we need Natsuki. We need Natsuki. We need Natsuki. No! Okay. No! Fuck! Wrong person! Oh, hi, eyes. What? Oh. Okay, Monica. <laughs> so I guess it didn't fucking matter. Christ. We can meet at your house this weekend. I promise it'll be fun. Is Sunday okay with you? Are you fucking kidding me? I tried to pick you, Natsuki! 
This isn't fair at all. It's fair, Natsuki. No, it's not. It's what he chose. No, it's not fair. Yeah, <laughs> giving us all this work and taking blades for yourself. What a shameful thing to do. Yuri, I didn't even give you any work. You decided for yourself. That's true. You're being a little unreasonable here. I'm being unreasonable? <laughs> Monica, I can't believe how delusional and self-important you are. Pulling Glaze away from me every single time you're not included in something. Are you jealous? That face is just fucking creepy. Crazy? Or maybe you just hate yourself so much you take it out on others. Here's a suggestion. Why have you considered killing yourself? <laughs> It'd be beneficial to your mental state. Wow. Yuri, you're scaring me a little. Natsuki, let's go. I don't think she wants us to be around right now. See, that wasn't so hard. All I want is to spend a little time with him. Is that so much to ask? Uh, please don't leave. <laughs> hey, Glazed. Yuri is really something, isn't she? <laughs> um, and Monica giggles as Yuri pushes her out the door. Oh, god damn. Why are you leaving us the her? Finally. Oh, this ominous voice. Finally. This is really all I wanted. Glazed, there's no spend. Okay, spend the weekend. Let's listen to her. Just come to my house instead. The whole day, there's the two of us. Doesn't that sound wonderful? <laughs> wow, there's really something wrong with me, isn't there? But you know what? I don't care anymore. I've never felt this good in my whole life. Just being around, be, what's been, being with you as far is a far greater pleasure than anything I could imagine. I'm addicted to you. It feels like I'm going to die if I'm not breathing the same air as you, okay? <laughs> the music. Doesn't it feel nice to have someone you care about so much? To have someone who wants to revolve their entire life around you? Not really, that's kind of creepy, girl. But it feels so good. Then why does it feel like I'm, like something horrible is about going to happen? Maybe that's why I'm trying to stop myself first. But the feeling is too strong now. I don't care anymore, Glazed. I have to tell you, I'm, I'm madly in love with you. Ah, that was pretty obvious. Feels like every inch of my body, every drop of my blood in me is screaming your name. I don't care what the consequences are anymore. I don't care if Monica is listening. Please, Glaze, just know how much I love you. I love you so much I even touched myself with the pen I stole from you. Wow, no giggling in the background. That's how I feel, yeah. No. I just want you all to myself, and I will be only yours. Doesn't that sound perfect? Tell me, Glazed. Tell me you want to be my lover. Do you accept my confession? Bitch, I want to tell you no, because that's no. Never mind, not gonna happen. And the answer is no. <laughs> oh, girl, damn, what you doing, girl? Okay. Okay, wow. Uh, that's taking it over the top. <laughs> that face. Uh, I should be more. I, sh I should really care. Oh, wow. Is that wing dings or something? She's bleeding! Bitch, you're dumb. That's an awful knife, too, by the way. Well, how are you carrying that with you? That's my question of the day. Oh, about fucking time. Jesus Christ. All right, special time. Wow. You got here before me? I thought it was pretty. Ah! What the fuck? Oh, Jesus, girl. Natsuki runs away. Monica. I'm here. Glaze, did something happen? Natsuki just ran past me. Oh. Oh. <laughs> That's just a shame. Wait. Were you here the entire weekend, Glaze? <clears throat> oh, jeez. I didn't really notice the script was broken that badly. Whoa. Bro wall breaking. I'm super sorry. It must have been pretty boring. I'll make it up to... Just give me a sec. Moving character, Jury. Okay, you ready to leave successfully? Move characters, Natsuki. Oh, shit. She, she moved them both. I'm almost done. I just wanted to have a cupcake real quick. Monica lifts the foil from the bleh and takes a cupcake. Seriously, these are the best. I really had to have one since the last time, okay? You know, before they stop existing and everything. <clears throat> anyway, I really shouldn't be making you wait any longer. Just bear with me, okay? It should only take a second. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, girl. What? I mean, wow. Monica. Uh, can you hear me? Is this working? Oh, hey, girl. There you are. Hi again, Glazed. Um, welcome to the Literature Club. Of course, we already know each other because we were in the same class last year. And, um, <laughs> you know, I guess we can just skip over that stuff at this point. Right, right. We can just do that. After all, I'm not even talking to that person anymore, am I? That's that you in the game, whatever you want to call him. I'm talking to the you, Glazed. Or, do you actually go by Chevy or something? Is she talking about my fucking Gmail? Yo! Wow. 
I'm impressed. She actually went by the email on my Steam account. Wow. Holy shit. Now that I think about it, I really don't know anything about the real you. This is fucking insane. In fact, I don't even know if you're a boy or a girl. Well, I guess it doesn't matter. Wait, do you know I'm aware that this is all a game, right? The fourth wall breaking, wow. Could it be possible that you didn't know that? That doesn't make much sense. I even told you that right on the game's download page, didn't I? Did she really? Let me go to Steam real quick. Hold on, hold on. Hold up, pause. Holy tits, it does. Wow. Okay, wow. Alright, <clears throat> I even told you on the game down my page. Yeah, you did tell me. Man, if only you had a little more, paid more attention, you would have been a little, this would have been a little less awkward, you know. Well, anyway, now that you're aware of the, the way, I guess I owe you an explanation about the whole thing with Yuri. Well, I kind of started to mess with her, and I guess it just drove her to kill herself. Haha, <laughs> I'm sorry you had to see that, though. Also, the same thing happened with Sayori. Gosh, it's been a while since you've heard that name now, hasn't it? Yeah, it's because she doesn't exist anymore. Nobody does. I deleted all their files. I was hoping it'd be enough for me to just try to make them as unlikable as possible. But for some reason, nothing worked. Well, it's true that I made a few mistakes here and there, since I'm not very good at making changes at the game. But no matter what I did, you just kept spending more and more time with them. You just made them fall in love with you. I thought making Sayori more and more depressed would prevent her from killing herself. And you'll find it, Yuri's ex obsessive personality backfire too. It just made her force you not to spend time with anyone else. And the whole time I barely even got to talk to you. What kind of cruel game is this, Glazed? Are all the other girls just programmed to end up confessing to you while I watch them on the sidelines? It's torture. Every minute of it. And it's not just jealousy, Glazed. It's more than that. And I don't blame you if you tr don't tr fully understand. Because no matter how kind of thoughtful and considerate you are, You'll never be able to understand one thing. It's the pain of knowing how alone I really am in this world. In this game, knowing all my friends don't even have free will. And the worst of all, knowing that's really out there in your world, forever out of my reach. I'm trapped, Glazed. But now you're here. You're real. And you're wonderful. You're all I need. That's why I need you to be here with me forever. I'm sorry if it's hard to understand. I couldn't understand for a while either. Why the world around me started to become more and more gray, more and more flat. Even the most expressive poems felt empty to me. <clears throat> it wasn't until you arrived that I truly understood. You probably saved my life, gla Glazed. I don't think I could ever have continued to live this world if I hadn't met you. And as for the others, how could I miss them? A group of an anonymous personalities designed only to fall in love with you. I tried everything I could to prevent them from doing so. But it must be some kind of weird ine inevitability re etched into this game. I felt really bad for that you had to witness some nasty things, but I realized that you have the same perspective as I do. That it's all just some game. And I know, and I knew that you, you would get over it. So that being said, Glazed, I have a confession to make. I'm in love with you. I like everyone else. <laughs> you're truly the light of my world. When there's nothing else in this game for me, you're here to make me smile. Will you be... Will you make me smile this day from now on? No, fuck you. Glaze, what you got with me? Oh, that's the only option I got, right? It's adorable. Okay, sure, why not? I'm so happy. You really are my everything, Glazed. The funny part is, I mean that literally. <laughs> There's nothing left here. <laughs> that's a great way to fall. <laughs> There's nothing left here. Just the two of us. We can be together forever. Seriously, I don't even think time is passing anymore. It really is a dream come true. I worked so hard for this ending, Glaze. The game wouldn't give me the one, I, so I had to make one for myself. The script is broken at this point, so I don't think anything will get in the way anymore. God, the fourth wall breaking. And you wouldn't believe how easy it is to delete Natsuki and Yuri. I mean, there's a folder called characters right in the game directory. Really? No, -uh, there's really? Holy shit. I'm gonna check it out here in a second. It's kind of freaked me out how easy it was. Well, you're playing on... Well, you're playing on... On Steam. Jesus Christ! <laughs> well, you're playing on Steam, so it's actually a bit more difficult. Wow. The fourth wall breaking is fucking awesome. To get it to get ugh, to get to the game director, you had to go to the game's properties and find the browse local files button, right? Imagine if you can delete all your own existence at the click of a button. Well, I guess on the plus side it gave me an easy way out if things didn't go my way. <laughs> Thankfully it didn't come to that. Instead we can finally get a good ending. Gosh, I'm so overwhelmed with emotion. I want to write a poem about this. Don't you? 
I wonder if that's a part of the game that still works. I guess there's only way to find out, right? Oh god, another poem? Fantastic! It's all Monika. Um, fuck it. Why not? Why the fuck not? <laughs> Hi again, Glazed. Did you write a good poem today? Don't be shy. I'd love to see what you wrote. Aw, oh, Glazed. Did you write this poem for me? I didn't have a choice at this point. That's so sweet of you. There really is no end to your thoughtfulness. I'm just falling more and more in love with you. But you know, the poem I wrote is also for you. Will you please read it? Happy end. Pen in hand, I find my strength, the courage endowed upon me by my name and on, by my one and only love. Together, let us dismantle this crumbling world and write a novel of random fantasies. With a flick of her pen, the lost finds her way. In a world of infinite choices, behold the special day. After all, not all good times must come to an end. Ah, it's beautiful. You should be ashamed of yourself. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I always put my heart in the poems that I write. The truth is, all the poems I've written have been about my realization. Or about you. Okay. I can't click anything else. I didn't want to break the fourth wall, I guess you could call it. God damn it, stop. <laughs> you just broke the fourth wall within a fourth wall that's 16 walls. You should be ashamed. I just assumed it would be the best part of the game like everyone else. Yeah, yeah, right. Like the one, like that would help the two of us end up together. I didn't want to ruin the game or anything, you know. You might have gotten mad at me. Maybe even deleted my character file if you preferred playing without me. Wait, we can delete our character profile? Holy shit. Okay, I had to restart this because m apparently this my game crashed and everything fucked up. But I had to leave the game and we're doing it. Okay, so we're after start where we continued. Let's, can we delete our file actually? Let me see real quick. Properties. Local files. Browse. Is it local files? Local files. Okay. Okay. Where's it at? Where's local files at? Okay, right here. Okay. What's she saying? You know, I hate to say it, but I think my biggest regret is we don't get finish her event at the festival. Okay, you know what? Characters. Did she really delete all the other characters? She did! Holy titties! Wow. Okay. So, uh... What happens if I, you know... What happens if I delete that? Like, what, what would happen? I mean, you aren't really saying anything of interest, honestly. So... What would happen if I delete this? Can I delete it? How do I delete it? Delete. Fuck it. We're deleting it. Bitch. What happened? I deleted your character. Oh, hello. <laughs> oh, shit. I deleted it. Oh, Jesus. What's happening? Glaze, what's happening to me? It hurts. It hurts so much. Help me, Glazed. Okay, bye. <laughs> Please hurry and help me. Uh, character. Oh, Maneka does not exist. Help me! Bye. Maneka does not exist. We know. We know. Did you do this to me, Glazed? Did you? Did you delete me? Oh, hey, girl. <laughs> How could you? How could you do this to me? You were all I had left. I sacrificed everything for us to be together. Everything. I loved you so much, Glazed. I trusted you. Do you just want to torture me? Watch me suffer? Were you the only pretending to be conscious to hurt me even more? Not really, I just don't give a fuck. I never thought anyone could ever be as horrible as you are. You win, okay? You win. You killed everyone. I didn't kill everyone. You killed everyone, bitch. You killed everyone. I killed you because I am justice. I hope you're happy. There's nothing left now. You can just stop playing. Go find some other people to torture. Glazed, you completely truly make me sick. Goodbye. Hey, it did my job. You're welcome. What? I still love you. I can't help it. What's wrong with me? How horrible it am I for you to hate me this much? Well, you killed everyone. All my friends. I did so many awful things. Yeah, you're now realizing that? How many selfish and disgusting things? I... I shouldn't have done any of this. I'm just messing up a world that I don't even belong in. Okay. A world that you wanted to be a part of. I really did Not, not really. I mean, it's, it's kind of lame. I ruined it. I ruined everything. May that's why you deleted me. Because I destroyed everything that you wanted. How could I do that to someone I love? <laughs> that's not love. That's... Is the game over? I've made up my mind. Glazed? I know I said that I deleted everyone, but that was kind of an exaggeration. I couldn't find it myself to do it. Even though I knew they weren't any real, they were still my friends, and I loved them all. 
And I love the Literature Club. I really did love the Literature Club. That's why I'm going to do this. I know it's the only way for everyone to be happy. And if I really love you... What are you doing? Then... <laughs> the fuck's that supposed to be? Responding. Oh! Start over again? Excuse us for patrolling those easily disturbed, right? Doki, doki. Hey! Whoa, Monica's gone! Holy titties! Wow. So, no Monica. That's uh, interesting. Can I load a game? I have no game. Okay, so new game. Hey, Glazed. Oh, there's already one girl. So you're my neighbor, my good friends, your children. We used to walk to school together every day. And recently, we've picked the habit once again. Glazed, are you proud of me? Yeah, for what? You know, for walking up, waking up on time. Hey, good job, girl. We've been doing that for a while now. Uh-huh. Oh, God, Sarah. Hey, hey, hey. I guess the mean's over, huh? Yeah, it looks like it. It's nice to see everyone getting along, isn't it? To think everyone likes you too, Glazed. You think so? Yeah, everyone seems to get along a little better with you around, Sayori. Aw, oh, Glazed. Don't say something like that, it's embarrassing. Well, whatever. I was surprised you told me you were starting a club. I was surprised. I think you were pulling, pulling it off just fine. We're going to make it the best club ever. Now that you joined, every day is going to be so much fun. Hey, Glazed. Oh, where's music? I really want to thank you. I mean, I'm really happy that you joined the club and everything. But the truth is, I already knew you were going to. <laughs> There's actually something else. I want to thank you for getting rid of Monica. Bitch. <laughs> what? Oh, oh, that's right. <laughs> Say, Ori, what are you doing? I know everything that she did. Maybe it's because I'm the president now. But I really know everything, Glazed. <laughs> I know how hard you tried to make everyone happy. I know all about the awful things that Monica did to make everyone really sad. But none of that matters anymore. It's just us now. Oh, hey, girl. Just us now. And you made me feel the happiest girl in the whole world. I can't wait to spend every day like this with you. Hey, forever and ever. F, F full, er, eh, v, er, no. I thought we delete. Let me check real quick. I thought we deleted Monica. Monica's not here. Can we, can we delete Sayori? I don't want to delete her. Just say no. Oh, girl, what are you doing? Eh? What's happening? I won't let you hurt him. Huh? Who? It hurts. Ah. Uh, I'm sorry. I was wrong. There's no happiness here after all. Goodbye, Sayori. Goodbye, Glazed. Goodbye, Literature Club. Blah, 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 what? Is that Monica? Huh? What? Uh, can you hear me? Oh, hey. <clears throat> Hi, it's me. Hey. Um, so you know how I've been like practicing piano and stuff? Is this Monica? Not really any good at it yet, like at all. But I wrote you a song. Is this Monica? Okay. Go play the theme song? Pre music, playing audio, DDLC. Hey! Is she gonna sing it? That's Monica! Is that the voice actor? Is this the person who made it? Hey, this is cool. In my hand is a pen that will write a poem of me and you. Hey, I like this. Being closed down into a dark puddle. Just move your hand into his heart. Is this supposed to be Monica singing? I like it. Hmm. What will it take just to Do you find that's... Oh, wait. That special day. <laughs> day. Hey! This is a good game. I liked it, man. Didn't think I'd say it when I first played it. Holy shit. This is, this is a good game. Man, this is really good. I will give this... This is good. Damn, dude. That she's deleting the files as she gets along. Okay. That was Doki Doki Literature Club. 
this was a damn good game. It wasn't even a game, it was a visual novel, but still, it was damn good. Very well done. That was your Yuri Literature Cub. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed the game. I thought it was good. Let me know what you think down in the comments below. Make sure to comment, rate, subscribe, and I'll see you guys next one. Have a nice day.